Yeah. Good evening, everyone. It is December 18th. It is 6.30. It's time for the regular meeting of Wheeling's Village Board. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please. Trustee Lang and Rafata are absent with prior notice. Trustee Vogel? Here. Trustee Papantos? Present. Trustee Vito? Here. Trustee Kruger? Present. President Horker? Here. Any changes to the agenda? There are no changes this evening. Do we have any citizens' comments? Nope. Staff reports? Mr. Kalp. There we go. I wanted to give you an update on the uh, Federal Railroad uh, Administration quiet zone. Um, if you may or may have not noticed, the uh, train horns have stopped sounding, at least uh, for the most part, as of this past Saturday. Uh, the trains have been notified uh, by our letter that was sent from uh, the FRA to both the Canadian National Railway as well as Metro and other users of the, of the rail line. Um, there have been a few periodic soundings since then, but um, we're aware that they have been uh, notified that the uh, quiet zone is now back in effect. So going forward, uh, we should no longer hear the trains, uh, at least any more than we did pre previously uh, before October 11th. So that's my news. Thank you, sir. Clerk Brady, consent agenda. Consent agenda. All items listed on the consent agenda are considered to be routine by the village board and will be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless the board member or citizen so request, in which event the item will be removed from the general order of business and considered after all other agenda items. 11A. Resolution for maintenance under the Illinois Highway Code section 24-0000-00-GM 11B, approval change order number one and final in the amount of $152,458.50 for a reduction to the final Contract amount with Builders Paving LLC from one million six hundred and seventy-eight thousand dollars to one million five hundred twenty-five thousand five hundred and forty-one dollars and twenty-nine cents for the twenty twenty-three motor fuel tax MFT street improvement program. Eleven C resolution approving change order number one and final in the amount of $31,095.27 for a reduction to the final contract amount with Builders Paving LLC from $392,000 to $360,904.73 for the Chaddock Drive resurfacing project. 11D, resolution approving a service agreement with the Salem Group for temporary clerical services in the amount not to exceed $30,000 for fiscal year 2024. 11E, resolution approving change order number one and final in the amount of $17,045.23 for a reduction to the final contract amount with Schroeder Asphalt Services from $199,794.81 to $182,749.58 for Wolf Road Resurfacing Project. 11F, resolution approving a previous bid 
Houston Galveston Area Council contract with Vehicle Service Group LLC for the purchase of one portable column lift set in the amount of one hundred three thousand three hundred twenty seven dollars and twenty one cents eleven G resolution approving an increase in the village managers compensation eleven H resolution extending an existing agreement with Ladderbach and Almen LLC for <coughs> interim accounting related staffing services an additional amount not to exceed $90,000. 11I, resolution approving proposal for liability insurance coverage from Arthur J. Gallagher Risk Management Service, Inc. and ins insurance consulting services from Nugget and Nugent Risk Management Services. 11J. Resolution renewing the Village of Wheeling's annual subscription to the Northwest Central Dispatch System Joint Emergency Management System GEMS in the amount of $31,294.79. Do we have any questions or comments on the consent agenda? If not, I would be looking for a motion for their approval. So moved. Second. But Trustee Vogel, second. Trustee Kruger, roll call. Trustee Kruger? Yes. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. Trustee Vito? Yes. President Horker? Yes. <coughs> Just at 13. 13A, ordinance granting special use approval to permit religious assembly, Emmanuel Community Church, and uh, rescinding ordinance number 5030. Promise and Fulfillment Community Church 5110-6360 Capitol Drive, docket number PSU 23-0013. Mr. Clicker, what do we got? Yes, before you, it's a, actually a very simple request. Uh, what you have is Promise and Fulfillment Church, which had been on uh, Capitol, uh, Capitol Drive, is selling to a manual community church and as such with the change of ownership we do need to update the special use and that's really all it is <laughs> trustee papantos is the petitioner here yeah, please sorry <laughs> no problem. not going to ask hours of operation are you? yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I... um my only concern is could you please state your name for the sure record? my name is peter cho Okay, I'm, thank you, Mr. Cho. Um, yes. My question, he's telling me jokes here, um, <laughs> or he's teasing me. My question is, the um, current church is going to lease back from you for a while. Yes, Will that are. be a parking problem <clears throat> uh, with we don't, two congregations? Yeah, yeah we, don't, we don't think so. They, they, the, their worship service is probably going to be right around 11 o'clock. That's their, where their main worship is. We're going to probably be 930 to 10. Uh, they're a smaller congregation, which is why they're selling. They can't handle. Uh, we need about 120 spots as of the church size right now. Um, there's over 200 spots in the um, in the, uh, the parking among that that whole property. As so it between is. So, timing and just yes. overall, you'll be okay. Yes. I, that was my was only so. question. Yeah. Thank Good you. Question. Thank you. Is that it? Any other questions? If there are none, I would be looking for a motion to approve. So moved. Motion, Trustee Bantos, second. Second. Trustee Vito, roll call. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Vito? Yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. Trustee Kruger? Yes. President Horker? Yes, just as a reminder, sir, this is contingent upon oh. the village of a wheeling building permit shall be required prior to the start of any remodel work or modification to the existing floor plans or building. A wheeling business license must be obtained from community development department before the operation can be begin at the subject site. A landscape plan shall be submitted for the staff review by May 15th of 2024 and implemented by September 15th, 2024 for enhancement of the bare area sites, bare areas around the site. And a wheeling sign permit shall be required prior to the installation of any new signage at the subject property, subject to the requirements of Title 21. All good? Yes, understood. Welcome to town, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. 
um, 13B, ordinance amending various sections of Title 13 Water and Sewer of the Wheeling Municipal Code. Mr. Kaplan. Thank you, Mr. President. The, the item up before you tonight is the annual water, sewer, and stormwater rate ordinance. As we discussed at the November 4th budget workshop meeting, the ordinance reflects an increase in water and sewer rates of 3.48%. Uh, um, that's just how the math worked out. And um, a 25 cent increase in the stormwater rate. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. No questions or comments. Motion to approve. So moved. Trustee Papantos, second. Second. Trustee Vito, roll call, please. Trustee Vogel. Yes. Trustee Papantos. Yes. Trustee Vito. Yes. Trustee Kruger. Yes. President Horker. Yes. Uh, C through F, I need to read. Okay. 13C. Ordinance authorizing the levy and collection of taxes for the corporate and municipal purpose of the village of Wheeling for the fiscal year beginning January 1st, 2023 and ending December 31st, 2023. 13D, ordinance abating the 2023 tax levy requirements for the general obligation um, corporate Purpose Bond Series 2007. 13E, ordinance abating the 2023 tax levy requirements for the general obligation refunding bond series 2020. And 13F, ordinance abating the 2023 tax levy requirements for the general obligation refunding bond series 2021. Mr. Kaplan, what have we got? Uh, thank you. Once again, we have the annual property tax levy ordinance and the related abate bond abatement ordinances. As again, it dis as discussed at the budget workshop meeting and two weeks later when the board considered a resolution declaring what the annual levy would be for the year, that the tax levy 2023, or for, for tax year 2023, that is, reflects no increase over the prior year. The abatement ordinances are necessary to be filed with both the Cook and Lake County clerks in order to instruct them not to levy the taxes that would they would otherwise levy to pay the debt service on the village's um, outstanding bonds. We do not need the clerk's offices to levy those taxes because the funds are available in specific funds of the village, which are mentioned in the, in the memo. I'm happy to answer any questions the board might have about the tax levy. Questions or comments? Um, <coughs> there are none. I would, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna approve these one at a time. So 13C, uh, Fiscal year beginning January 1, 2023, ending December 31, 2023. So moved. Trustee Kruger, second. Second. Trustee Vogel, roll call. Uh, Trustee Papantos. Yes. Trustee Vito. Yes. Trustee Kruger. Yes. Trustee Vogel. Yes. President Horker. Yes, ordinance uh, abating 2023 tax levy requirement for general ob obligation corporate bonds in series 2007. So moved. Trustee Papantos, second. Second. Okay. Trustee Vito, roll call please. Trustee Vito? Yes. Trustee Kruger? Yes. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. President Horker? Yes. Uh, e, abating the 2023 levy requirement for general obligation refunding bonds series 2020. So moved. Second. Kruger, second. Trustee Papantos, roll call. Trustee Kruger? Yes. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. Trustee Vito? Yes. President Horker? Finally, yes. And finally, uh, F, ordinance abating 2023 tax levy requirement for general obligation bond refunding bond series 2021. Motion? So moved. Trustee Kruger, second. Second. 
Trustee Papantos, roll call. Trustee Kruger? Yes. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. Trustee Vito? <clears throat> yes. President Horker? Yes. 13G, ordinance adopting the Village of Wheeling annual budget for the fiscal year beginning January 1st, 2024 and ending December 31st, 2024. Mr. Kaplan. Thank you. The proposed budget for fiscal year 2024 totals $113,747,941. When the when staff originally presented the proposed budget to the board in early November, the general fund reflected a surplus of $1,034,000. Since that time, we've adjusted the budget as, as detailed in the memo, um, mostly on the revenue side to account for additional sales tax revenue. Sales tax came in stronger than we anticipated in the last couple months and also um, to increase the, the budget for next year related to personal property tax and TIF surplus revenue as well. So the ending surplus in the general fund reflected in the budget for fiscal year 2024 is $1,524,007. Um, there were a couple of minor changes to expenditures which are also explained in the memo otherwise the budget is as presented to the board at the budget workshop meeting and i'm happy to answer any questions you might have about the budget ordinance questions or comments from the board there being none i would look for a motion to approve so Some moved motion trustee papantos second trustee veto roll call Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. Trustee Vito? Yes. Trustee Kruger? Yes. President Horker? Yes. All right, 13. H-I-J. J. K. Okay, so they're all together. L. Okay. 13 H. Resolution declaring a voluntary tax year 20. 22 surplus in the North Milwaukee Lake Cook tax increment financing district fund and authorizing the distribution of such to the Cook County Treasurer's Office. 13 I resolution declaring a voluntary tax year 2022 surplus in the Southeast number two tax increment financing district fund and authorizing the distribution of such to Cook County Tax Treasurer's Office. Uh, 13J, resolution declaring a voluntary tax year 2022 surplus in the South Milwaukee Manchester Drive Tax Increment Financing District Fund and authorizing the distribution of such to the Cook County Treasurer's Office, 13K, de K, yeah. declaring an intergovernmental agreement required tax year 2022 surplus in the South Milwaukee Manchester Drive tax increment financing district fund and authorizing the distribution of such to the Cook County Treasurer's Office, 13L, <coughs> Declaring resolution declaring an intergovernmental agreement required tax year 2022 surplus in the town center number two tax increment financing district fund and authorizing the distribution of such to the Cook County Treasurer's Office. Mr. Kaplan. Thank you. Um, since 2005, the Village of Wheeling has been declaring surpluses in its tax increment financing districts, either as required by intergovernmental agreement or on a voluntary basis. And that's what these um, five items represent tonight. Um, in the North Milwaukee Lake Cook tax increment financing district, staff is um, proposing a, uh, a voluntary declaration in the South Milwaukee TIF district, there's an IGA required declaration and also a voluntary declaration. And in uh, the Southeast TIF district, there's also a voluntary declaration. 
And then finally, in the town center TIF, there's a um, declaration of surplus that's required by IGA, including the surpluses that are on the agenda tonight, if approved, um, that would bring the total amount declared by the village as surplus since 2005 to just over $65 million. That's money that's gone to mostly the other overlapping taxing districts. And in fact, I think it's important, important to point out that approximately $42 million of that amount has gone to the two school districts in Wheeling, which obviously have made a, a big difference in the community and, 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 and in people's lives in general. So I think it's worth, worth noting um, that the village has a long history of, of uh, doing that. And I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. There are no questions. Um, no questions on any of them. Start at the top. Uh, 13H, motion to approve. No moved. Trustee Papanto, second. second. <coughs> Trustee Vogel, roll call. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. Trustee Vito? Yes. Trustee Kruger? Yes. President Horker? <coughs> yes. I, the surplus for Southeast 2 tax increment financing. Motion. No moved. Trustee Kruger, second. Second. Trustee Papantos, roll call. Trustee Papantos? Yes. Trustee Vito? Yes. Trustee Kruger? Yes. Trustee Vogel? Yes. President Horker? Yes, J, uh, tax year 2022 surplus South Milwaukee and Manchester Drive, TIF. Motion? No moved. Trustee Papantos, second. Second. Trustee Vogel, roll call. Trustee Vito? Yes. Trustee Kruger? Yes. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. President Horker? Yes. K, uh, intergovernmental agreement required, 2002 surplus in the South Milwaukee Manchester TIF. All moved. Second. Uh, Trustee Kruger, second. Trustee Vito. Trustee Kruger? Yes. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. Trustee Vito? Yes. President Horker? Yes. L, declaring intergovernmental agreement required, tax year 2022 surplus in the town center TIF. Motion? So moved. Trustee Vogel, second. Second. Trustee Papantos, roll call. Trustee Kruger? Yes. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. Trustee Vito? Yes. President Horker? Yes. 13. Um, Resolution approving the capital improvement plan for the five-year period of fiscal year 2024 through 2028. Mr. Kaplan. Or Mr. Kaup. Him too. Me too. <laughs> President Horker, members the of the money. board. Are we, I was just looking. We've spent uh, close to $150 million so far. So far, yes. But yours uh, is included in there, sort of. Correct. Uh, well, at least $22 million is included in the budget, so uh, the rest we'll have to vote on later. But okay. I have one item for your consideration this evening. <coughs> it's a resolution approving the uh, capital improvement plan for the five-year period of 2024 20, through 2028. Uh, staff has prepared the capital improvement plan um, for 24 to 28, and the funded projects for 2024 were included in the recent village budget proposal, and the remaining unfunded but anticipated projects for the succeeding Four fiscal years have been presented to the village board uh, at the recent November 20th board meeting. Uh, the FY24 capital improvement program contains an expenditure level of just below $22 million. Uh, and uh, the five-year CIP includes almost $60 million worth of projects anticipated over the next half decade. Uh, the CIP represents the village board's and staff's continued con commitment to the design construction, maintenance, and uh, inspection of the village current and future capital infrastructure and facilities improvements. Uh, consistent with past years, the CIP, uh, while, is, uh, while it's ambitious and costly, it is also attainable. The CIP proposes similar mix of funding sources util utilized in the past, but I think it's important to note that uh, there is no uh, ex expected issuance of debt for any of these capital projects. I'm happy to answer any questions that the, the board may have on what has been presented. Questions or comments from the board? 
If there are none, motion to approve. So moved. Trustee Papantos. Second. Second. Trustee Kruger, roll call, please. Trustee Vogel. Yes. Trustee Papantos. Yes. Trustee Vito. Yes. Trustee Kruger. Yes. President Horker. Yes. 15 <coughs> ordinance authorizing entry into the Northwest Central 911 system. Uh, and o. Can we take O as well? Yeah. Both of them together? Yes, yes. please. Okay. 13 O resolution approving and authorizing the execution of amended and restated Northwest Central Dispatch System venture agreement and related by laws by and among the village of Wheeling and several other local municipalities. This is a kind of a complicated uh, document here, Mr. Ferolo, isn't it? It is. Um, I, I can explain the basis of it, if I may. Uh, in, in July of, uh, and, I'll t and I'll cover items N and O together. In July of 2022, the village of Wheeling was accepted as a member into the Northwest Central Dispatch System and the Northwest Central 911 system contingent upon moving our dispatch operations for police and fire to Northwest Central uh, by the beginning of January 1st, 20, 2025. The village is now in the process of dissolving its 911 board with Desplaines and wrapping up its dispatch contract for police services for Desplaines, which runs through December 31st of 2024. The ordinance and resolution before you approve the intergovernmental agreements that govern both the Northwest Central Dispatch System and the Northwest Central 911 system. Keep in mind, this is the first of several steps necessary to move Wheeling's dispatch operations to Northwest Central and for Wheeling to become a member of the Northwest Central 911 system by January 1st of 2025. Uh, the documents govern both systems. Ultimately, we will be a signatory on both of these documents once uh, we take multiple steps here on our end to wrap up our operations with the Splains. Questions or comments? If there are none, we looking for a motion to approve. We'd like to do uh, N first. So moved. moved. <laughs> motion, Trustee Kruger. Second, Trustee Vogel. Roll call, please. Trustee Vogel. Yes. Trustee Kruger. Yes. Trustee Vito. Yes. Trustee Papantos. Yes. President Horker. Yes, and O. So moved. Trustee, motion, Trustee Kruger. Second. Second. Trustee Papantos, roll call. Trustee Papantos. Yes. Trustee Vogel. Yes. Trustee Kruger. Yes. Trustee Vito. Yes. President Horker. Yes. <clears throat> There was months of work and equipment went into that, wasn't there, Mr. Svondelis? Yes. In fact, uh, nearly every item, although we went through it quickly, really is a culmination of, in some cases, a year or more's worth of work uh, to get to this point. So tonight, tonight was a very big deal. Um, but I think that the the um, <coughs> the speed with which we went through it is a reflection of how much effort has been put into getting here, uh, and how much review has gone into it already. So. A lot of good work was done in a short amount of time tonight. Um, official communications, Trustee Papantos. Thank you. Um, I just want to highlight that tonight we passed the budget with another 0% increase. I mean, it's been flat for at least two years, three, which is a big thing, especially when we look at We've saved $200,599.21 on resurfacing and street improvement contracts tonight that we approved. And we're distributing in surpl TIF surplus funds $7,640,376. I think that's a big deal. Um, our, Wheeling is doing it right, and our, our budget reflects that. And we're helping the community with all these TIF fund surplus that's going out. Yeah, quite a bit of it was uh, voluntaries too. So, thank you, and happy holidays, everybody. Thank you, Trustee Papantos. Trustee Kruger. Um, I echo what Trustee Papantos <coughs> said. This is uh, 
this is a culmination of a lot of work that's been done by uh, an outstanding staff and uh, supportive board. Um, so I'm grateful to be a part of all that. Um, uh, just want to wish um, Trustee Papantos happy birthday. Thank you. Tomorrow and uh, happy holidays to everyone. That's it. Thank you, Trustee Kruger. Mr. Svondilis, what would you like? have to add one thing? Please add. Uh, although we have about another month with our distinguished fire chief, uh, tonight will be his last board meeting before his retirement. Chief McGreal came to the Village of Wheeling as uh, deputy chief in 2017 and is leaving us now as chief serving for uh, just about three years. And we will miss him greatly and we wish him all the best. Mike will be retiring on January 12th. Is that the correct date? So tonight is his last board meeting. So I wanted to publicly acknowledge and thank him for his leadership and his effort uh, over the past five years, six years. You know, I thought I could slip out without saying, without, without <laughs> that, but I appreciate it. It's, even though I've only been here a short time, it feels like, uh, been very, very rewarding and a great experience. You are a class act. Uh, Mary, uh, Trustee Propantos has it right. Wheeling's doing it right. And that's reflective of staff here, all the staff, all your employees. This has been a great experience and uh, I hate to leave, but it's time to go. So thank you. <laughs> thank you, Chief. Um, just briefly, over the last couple of weeks, we had our first public menorah lighting over at the town center. Um, we had a little coat giveaway right here in the uh, winter coat given away uh, right here in the village hall. It was sponsored by the Korean American Friendship Organization. Uh, they wanted help distributing as many winter coats as possible, which is odd for somebody to ask for help to do something good like that. Um, we really have a remarkable community and I'm really, really proud to be sitting here. So thank all of you for everything you do. And thank you all trustees for working together so nicely. Uh, any other uh, questions or comments? We have then the bills for November 30th through December 13th, 2023. I need a motion for their approval. So moved. Second. Trustee Papantos, second Trustee Kruger. Roll call, please. Trustee Vito? Yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Kruger? Yes. President Worker? Yes, we do have an executive session this evening for the purposes of pending probable and or imminent litigation. Therefore, I need a motion to recess into executive session and adjourn the regular meeting. So moved. Trustee Papantos, second. Uh, second that <laughs> Trustee Vito, roll call, please. Trustee Vito? Yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Kruger? Yes. President Horker? Yes. Recess. It is 7.03. I would like to start at about 7.07. <laughs> Executive session room, please. <laughs>